During the Vietnam War, women endured horrifying punishments that included rape and sexual violence. This video explores the untold stories of these victims, shedding light on the inhumane acts committed by soldiers and the ongoing struggle for justice and recognition. Unveiling the Silence, Rape and Injustice on Women in the Vietnam War Rape stands as one of the most pervasive forms of injustice endured by women worldwide. Throughout the Vietnam War, soldiers hailing from the United States, South Korea, and other nations unleashed a wave of sexual violence upon Vietnamese civilians. A renowned American scholar named Elizabeth Jean Wood put forth a compelling argument, suggesting that the tolerance displayed by commanders towards rape was a key factor driving its prevalence among U.S. troops. Astonishingly, the international legal discussions that followed the war largely disregarded the documented crimes committed by American military personnel against Vietnamese women. Even in modern times, these incidents are often dismissed by feminists, anti-war activists, and historians. However, some American veterans assert that racism, sexism, or a combination of both played a significant role in fueling the sexual violence directed at Vietnamese women. Additionally, the social movements that shook the United States during the early 1970s contributed to the issue. Disturbingly, only a small fraction of reported rape incidents involving Vietnamese victims led to court-martial convictions for U.S. Army and Marine personnel between 1965 and 1973. The fate of children conceived as a result of rape by South Korean military personnel remains a contentious and unresolved matter in both Vietnamese and South Korean societies. These children face ongoing discrimination from the Vietnamese government, while the South Korean government fails to acknowledge their existence. In Vietnamese, these racially mixed children born to a South Korean father and a Vietnamese mother during the war are referred to as Lai Dai Han. Although the exact scale of the rapes remains a subject of debate, one study suggests that over half of the Lai Dai Han births were the result of rape. A significant clan of mixed-race children, with more than half being conceived through such brutal means, highlights the cruelty and inhumanity imposed on women for the sick pleasure of others. Gina Marie Weaver, in her book Ideologies of Forgetting Rape in the Vietnam War, points out the glaring absence of rape in narratives surrounding the war. She sheds light on the profound changes that war inflicts upon women, particularly in the era of total warfare. Weaver argues that the United States strategically redirected the national conversation about the war, shifting the focus to the medical and psychological challenges faced by Vietnam veterans. In doing so, the traumas endured by the truest victims of the war, Vietnamese civilians, especially women, were effectively silenced. By acknowledging the atrocities committed by U.S. soldiers in Vietnam, Weaver contends that the perception of veterans as victims within the American public would be challenged, if not shattered. Furthermore, she highlights the ongoing dismissal of the documented crimes against Vietnamese women by American military personnel, even by modern feminists, anti-war activists, and historians. If the transgressions of these supposed heroes were revealed to the public, they would no longer be seen as heroes, but as vicious monsters who took advantage of the innocent. Dadis asserts that gang rapes were rampant during the Vietnam War, purportedly as a result of a deliberate command policy of violence against the Vietnamese people by U.S. military personnel. Many soldiers regarded consensual sex and forced rape as inevitable consequences of the battlefield, viewing them as either just rewards or collateral damage. In a disheartening twist, the men who were meant to be the saviors of the land violated its women with brutal force. This harsh truth, long concealed from the public eye, raises a pressing question. Should these individuals be celebrated as heroes or imprisoned as monsters? Weaver emphasizes the wealth of primary sources available, containing accounts of violence, including testimonies presented in open hearings during the war, court cases, military investigations, oral reports collected for publication during and after the war, as well as literary works such as poems, novels, and memoirs. Unveiling the Pain Sexual Violence as a Weapon of War in Vietnam The sensitive and private nature of sexual abuse makes it a challenging topic to openly address. It is a deeply personal experience that often remains shrouded in silence. In light of this, Weaver concludes that true healing can only occur when society as a whole begins to listen attentively to the victims of war and actively participates in their recovery. By acknowledging and amplifying the voices and experiences of Vietnamese women who have suffered sexual violence, and by supporting their journey towards healing and justice, we can develop a more comprehensive understanding of the Vietnam War.
It is disheartening to realize that the victims of sexual violence in Vietnam may never have truly obtained justice, while the soldiers who fought in the war continue to be honored and celebrated for their bravery. In a strange twist, sexual violence was not only perpetrated for the sake of pleasure, it was also utilized as a strategic tool to extract information from women who were reluctant to speak due to fear. During the Vietnam War, sexual violence emerged as a horrifying tactic employed to force the enemy to reveal sensitive information. It was used as a deliberate means to intimidate and terrorize Vietnamese women who played significant roles in the Viet Cong and North Vietnamese Army. The objective was to instill fear within these women, thereby weakening their resolve and dissuading them from participating in the conflict. Additionally, sexual violence was employed to humiliate and degrade women who held opposing political viewpoints, serving as a warning to others who dared to challenge the opposing forces. The absence of mechanisms for reporting and seeking justice created a culture of impunity, enabling members of the armed forces to engage in such acts without fear of consequences. The perpetrators, often revered as heroes, were well aware that their actions would go unreported, allowing them to continue their heinous acts unchecked. This culture of impunity further exacerbated the terror and trauma experienced by women as they constantly faced the threat of sexual violence at the hands of the armed forces. The purpose behind the widespread use of sexual violence was to terrorize, intimidate, and specifically target women during the war. It was a calculated strategy to undermine the morale and resilience of the Vietnamese population, particularly women who played vital roles in various aspects of the conflict. This systematic approach aimed to break their spirit, demoralize the community, and undermine the efforts of those fighting for their cause. In addition to the intentional use of sexual violence as a fear tactic, there were also instances of opportunistic sexual violence. These acts were driven by individual perpetrators taking advantage of the chaotic and volatile environment of war, exploiting vulnerable individuals for their own personal gain. The absence of law and order, coupled with the breakdown of societal structures, created an environment conducive to such opportunistic acts of sexual violence. While some may argue that these acts are an unfortunate consequence of war and cannot be ignored, it is important to question whether war should ever serve as an excuse for the rape and abuse of women. What sets humanity apart from animals is our consciousness, the capacity to feel guilt and other emotions. So, one cannot help but wonder what emotions these men who tortured women during the war experienced. Can their actions ever be justified? This dark chapter in history sheds light on the devastating impact of sexual violence as a weapon of war, inflicting immeasurable pain and suffering on countless Vietnamese women. It serves as a stark reminder of the cruelty with which men oppressed and derived pleasure from the opposite gender. Today, there are still thousands of individuals around the world known as Lai Dai Han, children of Vietnamese women and foreign soldiers. It is a chilling reminder that a significant number of these children were conceived as a result of rape, revealing the inhumane practices perpetrated by men during times of war. The magnitude of this issue underscores the urgent need to address the long-lasting consequences of sexual violence and to ensure that such atrocities are acknowledged, condemned, and prevented in future conflicts. It is crucial to create a society where survivors of sexual abuse can find solace, support, and justice irrespective of the circumstances in which the violence occurred.